Hello and welcome to another Adverity Platform Guide. In this video, we'll run through how to set up a data stream. But first, what is a data stream? In Adverity, you set up a data stream to fetch data from a data source and send it to a destination via a connector. A data source is where you want to fetch data from. This could be Google Ads, Facebook Page Insights, or Google Sheets, for example. A destination is any repository where you can store data, for example, a data warehouse, a spreadsheet, or even Adverity itself. With Adverity, you can access our library of pre-built connectors that lets you fetch data from more than 600 data sources. First, head to the Data Streams page using the Platform Navigation menu. Then, click Create Data Stream. Select the data source that you want to fetch data from. It's important to note that, while the overall process for creating a data stream is similar for all data sources, each data source has specific requirements and available options at the authorization and configuration steps. You can learn more about the specific options for each data source in the Adverity documentation. However, in this example, we're going to fetch data from Google Ads. To set up any data stream, you need to have authorization to access the data in the data source. To do this, you can either use your own credentials, ask a colleague to give you access, or use an existing authorization if you already have one set up. You can find more information on how to set up authorizations in the Adverity documentation. For now, we're just going to use our existing authorization. Next, you can choose a pre-made Adverity template or select custom configuration to choose your own settings. Adverity Data Stream templates pre-select certain settings and fields, making it easy for you to collect certain data from your chosen data source. In this example, we're going to go ahead and select the Campaign Performance Report template. In the next screen, you can fine-tune the configuration of your data stream and also give it a name. You'll see several options here depending on the data source. However, in this example, we're going to give our data stream a name but keep all the other settings the same. Remember, when naming your data stream, it's always a good idea to follow a naming convention so that you can easily locate and distinguish between different data streams in the future. You'll then be asked where you want to send your data. You can find out more about destinations in Adverity documentation. However, for this example, we're going to keep our data in Adverity, so you can just go ahead and click Next. Now you can perform your initial data fetch. Select the time range you want to fetch data for. In this example, we're going to collect all our data from the last month, then click Run Fetch. You will then be taken to the overview page for that data stream. Once Adverity has finished fetching your data, you'll be able to schedule regular data fetches, add enrichments, set up destinations, add data mapping rules, and preview your data in the Data Extracts tab. And that's it, your data stream has now been set up. For more information on how to create data streams for specific data sources, be sure to check out the Adverity documentation.